Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. This week I had the chance to visit OtterBox, the makers of great iPhone and iPad cases. They're right up the street from me in Fort Collins, Colorado. I asked them how they designed and tested their cases. The first thing you start with is obviously the device itself. And um, what OtterBox does is we make rugged protection for those devices. So um, we start with just the, the surface itself and we build from there. Um, OtterBox, probably more than any other case manufacturer out there, does rugged protection. So, I mean, just looking at this product, you can tell that um, what we do is just ultimate protection, you know? We're pretty much as close as you can get to building a uh, electronic device itself without having any of the internals. The industrial designer kind of puts together the general look and passes it off to the mechanical engineer who will jump in the cab and kind of get into the logistics as far as how it's going to snap together, how you're going to retain silicone to plastic and for example in our Defender series, uh, kind of the best way to try to make it as rugged as possible and keep that look and you know eliminate as much dust intrusion as possible, just taking a lot of factors into, into play. Uh, so. Silicone is probably, you know, it's been around since I've been at Otter, it's, you know, what is pretty much on the outside of every device that we, or every Defender case that we have. It's just this durable, you know, um, material. It's really heat resistant. Uh, it can take drops extremely well, you know. So that's kind of the foundation of um, what our cases are. And then we generally, underneath on Defender cases, we have a, a polycarbonate <coughs> assembly. So polycarbonate's a really good material because, um, again, it's really drop resistant. It, uh, doesn't generally shatter. So, and then on cases like our tablet cases, or for cases like our tablet cases, we do things like put a soft material on the inside. So, felt or foam or. Mm -hmm. So, like here on the iPad 1, we've got this felt liner. So, when you're sliding your device in there, it just kind of cradles it, make sure it doesn't get scratched on the inside. Um, OtterBox also does things like PC windows. So, if you do have an exposed area, mm -hmm. we do these vanity windows. Yeah, we definitely try to take both stuff that we uh, learn internally from using our cases and testing, you know, we try to test our product as much as possible, as well as taking customer uh, customer suggestions and, you know, if they have some complaints, taking them to heart and figuring out how we can remedy those issues. So, a good example is that typing angle is that this is, has a couple great media modes, but not necessarily one that's great for typing. A lot of customers wanted it, uh, so, you know, incorporated it. Pretty, pretty elegantly, so. Testing, we, we do a lot in, internally uh, to test for functionality. Whenever we're designing a case, we'll be printing off the prototypes and fitting them to it and making sure everything's exposed and as centered as possible and such things. Uh, testing the camera to make sure there's no interference between the flash and the lens so that you're not getting any sort of, any sort of bad effects to the images. Uh, with sensors, you have your prox proximity sensors and ambient light sensors that you have to make sure you're accommodated. So we, we try to do as much in-house testing as possible just to make sure. Thing, but it, it'll pull, tell you how many pounds of force it takes to get a device out of the holster. How far along um, to break To break something, you have to stretch the silicone and you can also push to see how, how much force it takes to actually engage the snaps to And with, case with this particular pull tester, we can do elongation, we can set cycles, so if you want it to go a certain amount of cycles, um, we can measure uh, relaxation rates, um, just creep rate, just about anything you want it to measure, it'll, it'll measure. I'm sure you know that the Apple is extremely secretive, so it's no different with us. We're we're no different than your normal consumer. We don't get Apple products early. Um, that said, we we have ideas ahead of time that we tend to work on. You know, we can actually almost get a case to where it's ready before we even know a device is or an Apple product what it's going to be. You know, but we're still waiting in line <laughs> out there at Best Buy. So we buy that device, and then you know, over the weekend we'll have the the case. Tool it, tooled up, you know, we're cutting steel on production, you know, we're getting the gears are in motion from that point on. 